to Digital Conservative. Today is December 6, 2017, and we got some big news for you. Donald Trump is formally recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It's about time that a world leader said enough with the political correctness. Either Israel is our ally and we recognize their capital correctly, or we keep them in our minds as an occupier of Muslim lands. There's been absolutely no stronger ally in our fight against terror than the Jewish nation. They themselves are under constant harassment and terrorism from the Muslim countries surrounding them. Here's a little history lesson for those who don't know the history of Israel. The Jewish nation has existed for thousands of years. After constant invasion and genocide of the Jewish people, in 1947 the United Nations adopted a plan to create the nation state of Israel. Now at first it was a plan to separate the Arab and the Jewish nation and create two separate states. However, the Arabs did not like that plan at all. They rejected it. They flat out rejected it. I wonder why. Is it because they wanted to exercise their power and dominion over the Jewish people through taxes, intimidation, and fear? On the 14th of May, 1948, the Jewish nation state of Israel was finally adopted. The very next day, four Arab countries invaded Israel. Egypt, Syria, Jordan, and Iraq. This became known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli conflict. Later, Yemen, Morocco, Sudan, and Saudi Arabia joined in the war as well. Just like the snowflakes that they are, if they don't get their way, they resort to violence. The apparent purpose of the invasion was to prevent the creation of the Jewish nation. And some Arab leaders even talked about driving the Jewish people to the sea. The Arab League stated, that the invasion was to restore law and order and prevent further bloodshed. After a year of fighting, a ceasefire was declared, and temporary borders were established. After a year of fighting, a ceasefire was declared. The Israelis had kicked some major ass. Jordan annexed a huge portion of their land, which was called the West Bank. After many more years of fighting, Israel finally took control of all of Jerusalem. In 1967, the Six-Day War was a major victory for the Israelis. They got a huge amount of territory. So there you go. After the invasion of foreign invaders into the Israeli lands, the land was annexed and taken over. They were conquered. Ever since then, the Arab Palestinians have been crying, that's not fair. They stole our land. Wrong, cupcakes. They conquered that land after you decided to attack them. Jerusalem is the Israeli capital. End of discussion. So many foreign leaders have been weak, including U.S. presidents, who have decided not to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Donald Trump actually shows a backbone. He recognizes the alliance between the Israelis and the United States in the war on terror. Especially when it's smack dab in the middle of all these Muslim countries and they always resort to violence of some kind when they don't get their way. Now Muslims are now faced with a decision. They can either accept this and protest peacefully or they can resort to violence which they have done in the past. Waking up this morning, I read several articles that said that the Muslim community is going to be planning several days of violence in protest of this decision. King Salman of Saudi Arabia has said, Moving the U.S. Embassy is a dangerous step that provokes the feelings of Muslims around the world. Now, why would Trump's decision to move our embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem cause violence in and of itself? Is Donald Trump causing the violence? The ones causing the violence are the Arab Palestinians. Those actions should be absolutely condemned by everybody in the Middle East. But no, it's always Donald Trump's fault, right? I've said it many times before and I'll say it again. There needs to be a shift in the thinking and actions of the Muslim community. There needs to be reform. Moderate Muslims need to weed out the extremists who cause violence in the name of their religion. And in this case, the extreme hatred for the Jewish community. If Islam is a religion of peace, why do they continue and continue to cause violence against the Jewish community? The Muslim community may have had an argument saying that the UN had no right to give away this land. But the Muslim community later then invaded the country. The Israelis fought for their existence and they won. The land became conquered land, just like you did in the Middle Ages. Mr. Trump, thank you for having a backbone. And thank you for standing with the Jewish nation, Israel, and not listening to the world leaders who have no backbone. That's all for now. Please like and subscribe for more digital conservative content.